Do you know what happened on October 29th of 1929? Known as Black Tuesday in the United States, this day was nothing short of doomsday for hundreds and thousands of people. And it was just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Stick around as we tell you all about the Great Depression in 1929 and the effects of the biggest stock market crash in history. The crash. The Roaring Twenties ended with quite a bang. So Black Tuesday refers to the stock market catastrophe that occurred on October 29, 1929 in the United States and set off a series of unfortunate events that resulted in the Great Depression, a global economic downturn that lasted for 10 years and affected all industrialized nations. You must have seen The Great Gatsby, so you know all about the American affluence and extravagance during the 1920s. After all, back then, the stock values reached previously unheard of heights. This led a lot of people to predict that the market would rise further, so to purchase more equities, investors took out loans. But then, something changed. According to historians, it wasn't just one thing. Instead, it was a mixture of several factors that contributed to the 1929 stock market crash, including massive speculation during the Roaring Twenties, a significant increase in debt, a decline in production that increased unemployment and decreased spending, low wages, a struggling agricultural sector, and banks with sizable loans that just couldn't be repaid. Phew, that's a lot. We'll talk more about it ahead. So the stock market continued to fall in the late 1920s as real estate values dropped. People hurried to sell their shares and exit the market on October 29th as stock prices began to decline, which further lowered prices. This cycle resulted in an increase of panic selling, which caused the stock market to decline to all-time lows. Sounds familiar to a recent crash, doesn't it? Anyway, the market's decline from its peak was so severe that it plunged the country into an extended period of economic depression. The stock market lost value during the coming weeks, months, and years. But what led to the crash? The 1920s were a period of booming commerce and financial speculation. The culture and geography of America were in the middle of a transformation. People believed that everyone would become wealthy and that the economy would continue to expand indefinitely. Yep, this stock market fairy tale had the growth between 1921 and 1929 jump to 600%. But the stock market's irrational expansion wasn't grounded in truth. The economy couldn't sustain such high growth indefinitely. Soon, the economy slowed down, and at the end of October, the stock market was engulfed in fear and stock sales reached unprecedented levels. Why? Well, the market had expanded too quickly and stock prices were too high. The value of the stocks was significantly higher than the actual value of the companies they represented. People were actually taking out loans to purchase stocks, so they had to act quickly to sell in order to settle their debts when the market started to decline. As a result, more and more people were forced to sell. That, folks, was the Great Depression which began with the stock market crash and lasted for 10 years until 1939. During this time, hundreds of thousands of businesses filed for bankruptcy, the unemployment rate increased to almost 25%, and numerous banks failed nationwide. The effects and aftermath. No country goes through such massive events without facing repercussions. So naturally, the Great Depression shaped everything in the years to come from culture to politics. Since then, American society has been altered by mass migration. The crime rate quickly increased during the Great Depression as unemployment grew and turned people to petty stealing to put bread on the table. Sadly, the rates of suicide and malnutrition were also on the rise. This is also when healthcare became a luxury and many Americans didn't place a high importance on their health only going to the doctor in the most extreme situations. More and more Americans turned to alcohol and smoking as a kind of escape. The majority of Americans continued to be unable to afford higher education, and throughout the first half of the decade, fewer students attended the nation's colleges. Now, the effects were felt far and wide, but in the United States, where the Depression was generally the worst, industrial production plummeted by over 47% between 1929 and 1933 and the GDP fell by 30%. By 1933, 20% of banks that were in operation had failed and shut down. It wasn't until 1939 that most countries, including the US, recovered from this ballistic stock market crash. Do you think we should brace ourselves for a similar recession in the future? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to watch the next video.